Thanks, Mike. It's great to see so many folks here. Great to see General DeWine and so many members of the House and Senate that support uh, the Ohio State University and that support Ohio agriculture. Uh, welcome to Madison County, my district. Welcome to the Caraman Farm and uh, the, the Molly Caraman Agriculture Center is a great facility that you're going to really enjoy. Since 1963, Ohio State has hosted this showcase event for North America. You know, folks from the United States and Canada, almost 150,000 visitors will be here, over 600 commercial exhibits. If you have some time, please look around. It's going to be an amazing uh, day. And if anybody remembers last year, it's dry this year, everybody. So I also want to quickly mention the Waterman Farm, which is a, an amazing facility that there's great investments going on right now that are go that's going to be a huge, huge deal. And I want to thank Ohio State and some of the donors who are in the room who helped make a huge difference. Uh, and that's going to leave a positive impact on agriculture for generations in Ohio. You all know agriculture is Ohio's number one industry. And I thought I'd give you a quick update on the farm bill. You probably know that the current farm bill expires at the end of September. So tick tock, 14 days. Uh, we've got, uh, we got to make sure we, we uh, get things done. There's been a bill that's passed the House and the Senate. There are some differences I'll quickly explain and let you know that it's in conference right now. Uh, most of the bills are, are pretty much in sync, 95% or so. Um, but there are a couple of issues that still remain. The House passed some work requirements for SNAP beneficiaries. The Senate does not have those provisions. Uh, the dairy margin protection program is still kind of a working issue. Uh, but crop insurance, which we changed in, and expanded a little bit in the last Farm Bill, uh, is still a little bit of an open issue. So what I expect to see is when we get back this week, we're going to work really hard to try to resolve those issues. In fact, they were working as recently as um, last Friday, and uh, I know they started again yesterday, and uh, they've had a lot of meetings to resolve these differences. If we don't get the differences resolved in the next few days, we'll probably do a, an extension of the current farm bill through January or February, uh, and then we'll finish out um, the differences uh, after the election. So, but I, I'm hopeful that we can actually get a multi-year farm bill done in the next week. We are super close, and uh, I think all the parties are working in an earnest manner to make that happen. But I also wanted you to know that uh, I don't believe, even if we don't get the conference committee done by the end of next week, that there will be any kind of um, lapse in the Farm Bill. We will likely pass by unanimous consent an extension of the Farm Bill to keep the current bill in place until we can get that done. So I wanted to kind of give you that uh, update. You know, almost every Ohioan voted for the Farm Bill. It was a, uh, in Congress, it, uh, we've had uh, in the House and Senate good cooperation, and I feel really confident that we will get the Farm Bill done. I wanted to give you that update because I know we are really close on the expiration date. Uh, I want to thank you for being here in Madison County today. I hope everybody enjoys the lunch, and I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve you. OH! Thanks, everybody.